This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live, brought to you by Lee Health. Southwest Florida, big shout out to John on the cameras. He makes us look good. John at JPH Productions right here on Lee Pitts Live. Welcome to another edition of Lee Pitts Live. I'm your host, Lee Pitts, and we're here at the fabulous Holiday Inn, the award-winning Holiday Inn and Airport here in Fort Myers, uh, right near Gulf Coast Town Center. So be sure to Google them and find out all the information about them. We have a fabulous show in store for you. Get a chance to talk to a principal. I don't have an apple for her. But I do have a principal who's here who deserves all the apples in the world. And if she could qualify, she could get the golden apple. I don't know if principals qualify for the golden apple. I'll ask her when she get here. That's Nikita Watson, the principal at Lehigh Middle School. Also, we get a chance to talk to Davika A.O. Carr. She's an attorney. The name of the law firm is D. Carr Law. This is a renowned attorney who's gracing our set. In the last part of the show, get a chance to talk to Melissa Don. She's the president of Stretch It Out Enterprises. They're doing some great work with uh, cancer awareness, and they got an upcoming event that you're going to find out all about. She's here along with Michael Wilson, the founder of Stretch It Out Enterprises. All this happening on Leap is Live. We'll be right back. Southwest Florida, I am so thrilled to get an educator in here who is changing the way education is done and just has taken her school Lee High Middle School to a whole nother level. So we're thrilled to get the principal in here, Nikki Watson. Let's bump you in, Nikki. Good to get you on the show. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. When people think of Lee High Middle School, what do you want to come to mind? I want to come to mind a school for all students, a school where parents, the students, the teachers, and the community can be proud of. Okay. Now, when you first were there, how long have you been the principal there? This, I've been there for three years. I'm going to my fourth year. Okay, so prior to that, were you in the classroom or you came right out of college and became a principal? Give us a little background on Nikki. No, uh, well, I was a teacher. I was recruited here uh, from Jackson State. I was a student at Jackson State in Mississippi. I was recruited here. I was a teacher and then became an assistant principal. And three years ago, I became an, a, a principal. Okay. The responsibility of being a principal puts a lot on your plate. Every time I talk to people who are at your school, your staff, everybody just raves about how you're such a nice person to work for and the students just love you. What is it about you and your background that you think has prepared you to be able to get people to be so willing to work with what you're, you're trying to get accomplished? Um, I just remember that I was a student once, I was a teacher once, and uh, I know what it's like to work for great people, and uh, I just want to provide an environment where everyone loves to come to work and to come to school. What programs are available at Lehigh Middle? Well, we have the Cambridge program. The Cambridge program is a program for uh, the top level students. It offers the most rigorous courses available. We have the Leader in Me program. The Leader in Me teaches the seven habits of highly effective teens to students. We also have a sixth grade academy. That's something that we started at Lehigh Acres Middle School to ease the transition of fifth grade students becoming middle school students. And we also have the AVID program. We recently became an AVID National Demonstration School. Now, I should have told you to bring the award or something because you, I'm assuming you got some fancy award. Uh, maybe I can get you to email that to me and we put it up. But uh, that is no small feat to become an AVID Demonstration School. Elaborate on that. Well, it was uh, definitely hard work, but it means that we are an AVID model of excellence. Uh, it means that uh, teachers, administrators, and district personnel from all over the world will come and tour our campus. They'll visit classrooms, and they'll see how we engage students. They'll come right here to Lehigh Acres. Absolutely. Look, put Lehigh Acres on the national map. Absolutely. And you sitting up here all unassuming, so shy, Delta Sigma Theta, let me say that. Brought a truckload of Deltas here. Did you get a lot, do you get a lot of support from your sorority? Absolutely. Delta <laughs> ladies always support one another. Hey, break those acronyms down. You're talking to a regular person. A-V-I-D. What does that stand for? AVID stands for Advancement via Individual Determination. So it is a program that students have to apply to, but they we're looking for that individual determination. So students have to want to be in the program. And that's a national program? Yes, it is. 
Okay. The um, when you found out that Lehigh Acres Middle School was selected, what was the response from you and your staff when you when you realized, hey, we actually won this. We are we are we are we are on the map. We were excited. Food. Um, what was, what we had that? a celebration? We did. We had a, a huge celebration. I went on the PA system. I called all of the AVID students down after school. Uh, I called all of the teachers and the staff down. Uh, it was a work in progress. The school had, had um, they were on this journey for nine years. Mm -hmm. So to see it become a reality is really big for now, Lee Acres Middle Now, school. people who are listening to us right now, it's in early July, and they saying, oh, I want my kid to go to that school. Is it too late? What's that process? It's not too late. Uh, anyone wanting to get into Lehigh Acres Middle School must go to school choice. They can go to the district office or the Lehigh Acres office. Now, you guys do a great job with at-risk students. I think I read somewhere that maybe 90% of your students are on a reduced lunch program, uh, assistance program. That is not necessarily the easiest group in, in totality to get up to that type of recognition. What, what does that say about the ability, if given the opportunity, students will progress? Well, we do deal with a large population of at-risk students, so we do have several programs to support those students, and we just want them to know that they have a place at school and they can be successful. Mm -hmm. Well, we want you to keep up the good work, and uh, before you go, I want you to, uh, going back to school, I want you to give a couple of tips to the parents that they can do at home to help you and your faculty and other teachers around the world uh, in making their students have the best opportunity to be successful. Uh, the biggest thing is to limit cell phone use, limit uh, TV, and they students need to read, read, and read. There you go. You heard it right here from a award-winning principal at Lehigh Acres Middle School, Nikita. Keep up the good work, okay? Thank you. Stay right there. The saying goes on this particular show for those who say it can't be done. They're usually interrupted by those like Nikita who are doing it. We come back. We're going to find out about a great nonprofit right here in our community. We'll be right back on Leap This Live.